Hey everybody, I'm Johnny Skull and this is Chase the Heat. Got something cool. Reaper Madness. Ha! Kind of excited about this. This comes to me from my friend Ray from King Scorpion Hot Sauce. Reaper Madness. Look at the skull. Guys, I can't, I cannot do this video um, and review without saying something about the name Reaper Madness. Some of you guys may have seen the video uh, Reefer Madness. It was a video that was made, it was a propaganda film made in... Probably should have done the research and give you the exact date. But it was a propaganda video made a long, long time ago, black and white, uh, about scaring people away from the use of marijuana. And it was kind of, you know, when I was in college, we used to rent it and have parties and watch it. <laughs> Don't think it was made for that purpose, but that's the truth. But you can't look at the name Reaper Madness and not think of that if you're my age. Reaper Madness. This is a uh, salsa. Reaper's in it. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this. I got this from Ray. He said, I sent you three sauces. Uh, Black Scorpion, which I have reviewed. His Yellow Maruga Scorpion, which I have reviewed. And... Reaper Madness, which I've not. In this are is apple cider vinegar, Carolina Reapers, and citrus flavors. Nothing else. Now I gotta tell you something. Oh, it was really cool. He said, "Sorry about the handwriting." I said, "I should show you his handwriting is amazing." Honestly, his handwriting is awesome. You guys, if I showed you my handwriting, people from like Quantico, from like the FBI, would be looking at my handwriting, going, "We need to look at this guy." I don't have the best handwriting. That's what I love about computers. You can't see my handwriting. So your handwriting's fine. All right, so Reaper Madness. Kind of excited about this. Made with the world's hottest peppers, the Carolina Reaper. Nuclear heat. All natural, fresh peppers. All right, so in the, after I review this, uh, and you're done watching in the description box, you will see a link for King Scorpion hot sauce. The first uh, two sauces are, I saved this for the last because I assumed it would be the hottest since it's made with the Reaper. Um, so I thought I'd review this last of the three. The first two I liked an awful lot. What a wonderful sweetness to the, the, the sauce. and Really, really neat. And I should have got a knife and I don't have one. You know what? Well, there's a well, there's a way. All right, I got it. It'll take a second, but I, I got it. All right. You know, one of my favorite things about this channel is when you guys uh, buy something from a review I've done and you comment back and you tell me what you think of it. So cool. Here's the consistency of said sauce. This is from uh, King Scorpion Hot Sauce, Reaper Madness. <clears throat> All right, I'm wondering, I'm hoping it's the same, you know, every, sa every sauce maker has a similar thing that flows through what they do. The, I tried the yellow maruga first, it was just wonderful. The black scorpion had a similar thing, but it was a different pepper. I'm hoping it's the same thing with this. Because, boy, if it is, I'm going to be really delighted because the first two are so good. Oh. Wish I could share it with you. I think it's going to be similar aroma with that balsamic vinegar, which he uses in most of his sauces. Let me just double check. He uses balsa different kinds of balsamic uh vinegar. In the black scorpion sauce, he uses a balsamic vinegar. In the yellow maruga, he used a um, white balsamic. I think that's really a unique quality of Ray's sauces. So. Kind of excited about this. Certainly smell uh, peppers. Is that vinegar aroma? Oh, smells good. There is definitely, a, because of the balsamic vinegar, there's a similar kind of aroma. Different pepper, different heat source, but 
All right, so from King Scorpion Hot Sauce. Oh, there's chunks of pepper just like in the first couple. Boy, that spoon is full. Do you see that? It's actually over the level of the spoon. You know what that's called? It's called a meniscus. If you look at a glass and you pour the glass so high that the water level goes over the edge of the glass, and you're like, how is that happening? It's called a meniscus. Don't ask me why. It's one of the few rare things I remember from um, physics or chemistry class. Probably chemistry. Anyway, I'm Johnny Scoble from King Scorpion Peppers. This is Reaper Madness. I'm going to chase some meat. I'm shaking my head yes because I'm delighted. There's that same quality in the first two. I'm sure it's from the balsamic vinegar. Bits of pepper, pepper skin and pepper. You can see when it pours out. See that? Hot as can be though. Sweetness, the balsamic vinegar and the, the reaper pepper, but and it does have that similar thing that I talked about. That similar thing that weaves its way through all of Ray's sauces. Um, that sweetness, the balsamic vinegar. But hot, forget about it. All right, so let's talk about the heat for a little bit. In my mouth, it is, let me tell you where the heat is attacking me. The size of my tongue. Right here. Not so much here or here, but right in here. Um, the heat is right in your throat, which you'll expect from a reaper. Um, great finish. I think it might still be building. The heat is now radiating throughout most of my mouth. My heat rate on this is a four. Four. So if you're a non chili head and you try this, one drop, you'd be all set. If you, I mean, if, for a non chili, this is definitely an eight. But what flavor? Same amazing kind of that. It's, I guarantee you, it's the balsamic vinegar. But there's a sweetness to it that is so neat. And Reaper madness. Come on, I love it. Great color. All right, so um, here's a good. Oh. So, uh, King Scorpion hot sauce. There will be a link in the description box below at the end of the video. So when you're done watching, go check it out. Um, three sauces I've reviewed. This is the third. He only sent me three, and I'm just telling you, every one of them. It's a home run. They're just delicious sauces. You know, the first two aren't so hot that they would ruin you. This is pretty hot. Um, it certainly peaked out for me. It may be a... It hasn't changed. Probably a four for me. But that it's a pretty warm sauce. I mean, it's mid, almost midway for me. So for a non chili, you would definitely... If you're looking for heat and a really great tasting sauce where you really taste the pepper... The, you know, there's something he's doing with the balsamic vinegar that really brings out the flavors and the pepper. All three of them like that. The yellow maruga, the black scorpion, now the reaper madness. Um, he's on to something there. It certainly is peaked, and it's certainly on the down, back side now, but it's a warm sauce. But boy, is it delicious. And you know, one of the great things that's similar to all three sauces is the consistency. When you pour it, you see bits of pepper skin and pepper. Um, that's so cool. You get consistency and texture and taste. And uh, <clears throat> So, Ray, thank you. All right, and thank you for talking to you. Thank you for watching and hanging out with me today. Um, go to the description box, click the link, get some of these sauces. I think of the three of them, believe it or not, 
Like, I'm not knocking this. This is a great sauce. My favorite was the yellow Maruga, then the black. Uh, maybe this and the black are probably tied. This and the black black scorpion are probably tied. But boy, I'm telling you, that yellow Maruga scorpion sauce was... I, I do know some people who have had it and agree with me. And I didn't let... I, you know, I always make my own decision. And I, If you go back and watch those videos, you can tell those were great sauces. And this is too. But if you go to the description box and you click that link... No matter what you buy from Ray from King Scorpion Hot Sauce, you're going to be happy. I mean, they're all just amazing. Um, the only ones I can speak of are the Yellow, the Black, and the Reaper Madness. Awesome. Um, when you do, again, please let me know what you think of it. Right here is the Chasey Floating Pepper. Click that pepper. When you do, you're part of the Scoville Squad. It's my motivation to keep doing these, you know. So if you don't want to miss a video, click the bell for a notification. We'll do just that. We'll notify you so you don't miss any. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm Johnny Scoville. This was Chase City.